Hey everybody, welcome to day 112 of my carnivore journey. And yes, we are back in my studio. Don't be so disappointed, but this is my normal workspace. So guys, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to be bringing you different places every once in a while. We'll do some things. Like I said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video, a very cheeky video, if you will. Um, for those of you that missed it, you need to go back, watch day 111. I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say we had a little bit of fun uh, with Rick Van Man. If you guys don't know who he is, go check him out. Go subscribe to his channel and also watch his day six um, where he's kind of put around the home. It's a recent video. That's like the original. I have it. The, the link is in the, the comments below um, in this video and yesterday's. But if you watch his original video and you watch my day 111, you'll, you'll get it. Um, so, so in any case, I had a little fun and, um, <clears throat> and uh, I, I enjoyed that. It was really fun. I eat to, to express some of my creativity because you guys don't, you guys only know me through my carnivore updates. You don't know a lot about my other stuff and, and filming and creativity things. Um, but every, like I said, from time to time, I want to be able to, to use that with you guys and have some fun. Now, as far as cooking stuff goes, yes, I am going to start also incorporating my updates with some, some of the cooking. Um, that way you can kind of see and I can show you exactly how I make some of my stuff um today i was gonna do an all pork burger now i didn't really get a chance to say yesterday because i was <laughs> you know but i had it in the in the um i did have it listed down below the video but i had a a i actually ended up having a full pork burger yesterday so what i did was i basically made a pound of ground pork into a burger. I made it the same way I normally do a lot of my other burger stuff. And I got to tell you, it came out great. It, it really came out great. Um, wasn't too pork like sausage type flavor, um, but it was good. It was really good. And I ate pretty much the whole thing. Today, I had another beef pound burger. For me, honestly, with the way groceries is and the cost of things right now, um, being a buying just like a pound of, and I've been doing a lot of like, uh, the 80, 20 grass fed, uh, at Walmart. It's like an extra dollar basically for maybe, maybe not even that. I may not be a full dollar extra, but it's not bad cost wise. And it comes in that exact square pound. And I'm sorry guys, if I yawn a little bit under my breath today, it was just last night with all the editing I did. And it wasn't just the day 111 video, but I had worked, I've got other projects I got going and I'm resuming filming. And, um, but I didn't go to bed until seven this morning. And then I slept and it, again, just not a lot of sleep. I apologize. So I'm gonna try to get through this without making you guys too sleepy. <laughs> but yeah, today, um, today was other than, Obviously, it was like a day of recovering from a Saturday night, like just lit, like all kinds of stuff going on Saturday night. So I've just been kind of recovering, laundry, going to the store. Um, I made my family lasagna soup. I know it sounds weird, but it's basically, it's really good. Like it's an amazing recipe but i i don't eat it like i just i just know it's good as in when i say something's good and it's like bad as in not carnivore i just mean it's good as in if you were like eating a, a sad diet and i know it's kind of enabling my family to still eat pasta and things like that but you know again my family wants to eat certain ways i can't force them to eat keto or carnivore my wife does want to do more keto so that was not keto, but she really wanted lasagna soup. All right, anyways, uh, I had the one pound beef burgers, all beef, made like I normally do. Love it, except this time I had a dollop of a cheese mixture. <laughs> so there's a cheese mixture that goes on top of the lasagna soup. And since that cheese mixer is mostly like mozzarella, parmesan, and things like that, it's, it's um, safe. 
like heavy cream and stuff. It's safe for me. So, and, and there's always too much of that cheese dollop left over than lasagna soup. So I actually put a big scoop of it on my meat burger, which you can see right here. So you can see, but the dollop on there, really, really good. Um, and I ate, I didn't eat the full pound. I want to say I probably ate about 0.8 of a pound, right? About 80% is what I ate of the burger, I would say. Um, but that's just how it goes sometimes. You know, it's like some days you're going to eat more than others. Now, but that's also because I had more snack today. So I also snacked on some chicken deli meat. Um, I had about four or five slices of that. And I had a few pepperonis that were left over from uh, the carnivore pizza a few days back. I had some pepperonis. Let's see, was there any other snacks? That was probably about it. But with those snacks, I wasn't as hungry going into dinner. And then, of course, I didn't need the full pound of meat. Um, but that's what that's what today was, guys. That's my Sunday. Um, wasn't too hard. Mostly slept through a lot of my Sunday in a way. But it was, was just busy with menial tasks. Um, but I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, not looking forward to starting the new week again. But... At the same time, you know, with a lot of these creative projects I'm getting back into, I'm looking forward to those things. So, um, and yes, guys, oops, oh, oh, wait, here, here, there you go. <laughs> yes, guys, that is a hickey. <laughs> I figure I might as well just tell you guys. So, yes, my wife gave that to me. Uh, last night, another reason why I didn't go to bed till seven in the morning. Anyways, let's just leave it at that. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I love you. You guys are great. And thank you so much for all the wonderful feedback on the day one eleven video. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, guys, it's a special video. Really? It's not that long. Go check it out. But, but to all of you that did watch it and, all the great love and contact I got from it. Oh my God. Thank you guys so, so much. Again, thank you to Rick Van Man for being such a good sport. And I appreciate it. And hopefully I've heard some pretty good suggestions in there. One person said that him and I need to do some kind of international collab. And we probably have. We've talked we've talked about it. Rick and I have talked about some some things behind the scenes. Um and uh who knows? You know, who knows what we may come up with, but he's got that new podcast studio. Maybe he'll he'll want to interview like a, a certain carnivore uh, name. Name Josh. <laughs> Me. Anyways. Uh, all right, guys. I will see you guys later. Thank you all so, so much for your love and support. And I will see you tomorrow. We're getting close, guys. We're like one pretty much about a week away from our first 30 day goal within our chapter two. So I'm curious to see how my weight's been going. I feel like I've stalled a little, but I don't, you know, I was down to 277 and I, and I, I haven't like felt a lot thinner or I don't know, but at the same time, I'm, I think I have been, I'm just curious. I'm curious to see what happens in a week from now. And, uh, We'll see, but I've, I've been feeling better for sure. Every day, the further I keep going, the better I feel. So for those of you, if you need that little bit of discouragement, I'm telling you, keep going because the more you, the deeper you go and, and every, every time you're like, yeah, 30 days, yeah, 60 days. No, keep going. I'm telling you, I'm on what day 112 today and it's getting better and better. All right. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.